right, y'all. So, although I am, hold on, I'm trying to fix y'all so y'all can see everything. Although I am, I'm almost like deep in it. I wanted to come and show y'all what I was doing. I am flat ironing my hair lightly. It's already been blown out, but I'm just going over it with the flat iron really lightly to get it ready to get braided. Tomorrow is actually getting put in braids for the first time since I was a child. Yeah. If you count the lemonade braids, then I did lemonade braids last year, but they only stayed in my hair for like two weeks because I couldn't take the pain. This I plan on actually having in my hair for two months. So I'm trying to prep my hair. I'm also trimming my ears because my ears need to be trimmed really, really bad. So what I'm using is Pantene's Gold Series Hydrating Buttercream, which is this. And I'm just getting a little bit and putting it on each section. And then I'm taking a comb and combing through my hair. It gets real jagged towards the ends and that's where I know where to clip at. But I'm holding my hair. Taking my flat iron. And this is time for some man. And I'm thinking I'm gonna wrap my hair tomorrow. And possibly wear my hair out. I don't know. So and then I'm taking it where it look jagged and raggedy. I'm taking it, clipping it. If you don't know how to clip your own ends, do not try this. I'm just not afraid to lose no hair. And I feel like even if I cut too much, that's still going to fit my head. So, I'm cool. Hope y'all had a little situation. It's taken care of. I don't know if I'm going to wear my hair out tomorrow, though. Because this is a lot of hair. And I'm gathering it to make sure it's semi-even as far as the cut go. And I'm not getting no snags no more. Which let me know the dead hair is pretty much gone. So now I'm just taking my duck clip and sealing it off. But, oh, I'm out of breath because I ran upstairs, y'all. I'm doing it in sections because it's easier for me. Ooh. And it's crazy because I'm doing You see what snake is when I get down there? That's the part I got to trim. Ooh. But like I said, my hair was partially blew out anyway. This is me just kind of trying to straighten it a little more. And I got a, a low setting. So I don't know if I'm going to get heat damage. I pray I don't because no, I don't want heat damage. But I'm not stressing. Because my hair's like braided up on the weekend. Anyway. Anybody, nobody ever hardly sees my hair. I don't have my hair out. Not because I don't like my hair. But like, it's just too much of it. People always say I want long hair, I want long hair. You want it until you get it and then gotta take care of it and maintain it. And this is expensive to maintain. Unless I go to my girl. Now I do have two people I need in my head. One is actually doing my braids tomorrow. And the other one, she only do this, but I didn't feel like it. So I did it myself. You know what I'm saying? I have 25 dollars Because she would have to wash, deep condition. And everything else to my head. I'm not blue. And I didn't want to have to open it. So I just decided to do it myself. See right there. Where it's thick, I need to take that much out, but I'm going a little higher when I take it off. Because I know my hair gonna be in braids for two months. Maybe probably two months, yes, two months. Because once they up, I'm not gonna feel like taking them down. And as far as she can have to break my hair down tomorrow, sure. And do y'all see how thick my hair is? I still got this outside to do. But it's pretty much snake that is what I'm cutting. And I'm trying to stay as even as possible. Like, I'm not going to hurt the others. So, I'm doing this. I can. So, the important thing is when I run my combo, it don't snake. So, oh, hold on. I got one more piece hanged out here. And it's easier for me to do it like this. To do section by section. Because if I would have tried to let all my hair out and do it, I would have been doing this forever. Now, for this part, because it's a lot thinner, I'm going to take my small tooth comb. 
And my hair been under weave long out. Because I knew, number one, I wasn't going to have time to do anything to my hair, help my hair tomorrow because she's coming here at 3 and I get off at 2. And another, ooh, ooh, that was hot. There you go. Another thing is, I just, I don't want to feel like the way I'm going to work. It just worked out better for me to do it like this. So. And y'all see me looking, I'm looking over here. Okay, now I'll take this piece and bring it over here with this piece. And see, I'll miss that piece right there, over there. Okay, let's see something. So that way I know. What I got going on. Like it feel good. Like this stuff, that panty stuff, I have your hair feeling real soft. Yeah. Moisturized. And my hair feels super soft. Hopefully that won't come down. So now I'm on to the next section. Sales. And yes, I'm going to work like this, except I'm going to have one of my work hats on. So all you'll see is my two pony sales. Until I get home, and then she'll be here at three and she'll do my hair. And yeah. But this is how your girl look it. I did put a little oil in it. Well, no, I use, like I told y'all, the only thing I used through the whole flat ironing process was the panting. That's it. Definitely going to go cop some more of that. And. With my trimming of my ends, this look like a lot of hair, but y'all got to keep in mind, my hair is like super thick. So with trimming my ends, I probably took off an inch, maybe an inch and a half. Get out, Hazel. Out. My dog pisses on my carpet, and that's a problem for me. But I probably took out, took out maybe an inch, an inch and a half, but not much. I know my ears are healthy now, so I am happy. Um, I got all the dead hair out. Got all the parts that was feeling like real brittle and fuzzy. And then y'all got to take in mind, my hair has been in um, braids before I washed it and deep conditioned it for like two months. My hair had been in braids. So I had to take my hair down, wash it, deep condition it, blow it out, then run the flat iron through it. And I didn't completely bone straight my hair. I just did it enough to where she can get through it without it being a hassle without there being any pulling and tugging because she already gonna have a lot to deal with as far as braiding because she gonna have to braid my hair down all the way to the end so <laughs> yeah um my hair gonna be long um but yeah i'm gonna get out of here i'm gonna put on the shower cap and a bonnet and jump in the shower real quick and probably do a facial because i'm having a breakout right there and right there so probably getting a shower through some of the yeah your girl head finna be out i hope you guys seen how i trimmed my hair as well because i did try to show y'all how i trimmed it um this is probably like my third time trimming it myself and it, it's not hard it's basically you like looking inspecting your hair looking at your hair seeing what's uneven what's damaged um i could feel the brutalness of my ends so i knew where to stop and then with it tangling at the ends once i combed it out and it still had that knot i knew right then i had single strand knots and a lot of dead hair so i cut up in there as well so that's why i took like an inch and a half off um didn't really bother me because 
my hair grow and it's gonna that inch and a half gonna grow into like 40. my phone just really interrupted me what's bothering me is my need to go ahead and lose this weight honey so i'm um, yeah i'm gonna get out of here hope you guys enjoyed this video i tried to record as much as i could um so yeah if you have any questions leave a comment in the comment section um i also list what i'll shampoo with what i deep condition with and um my leave-in conditioner so i'll try to leave that in the description box as well so yeah i'm gonna get out of here if nobody tells you you're beautiful remember simply kids i was gonna tell you beautiful because you simply are and i will see you guys in the next video bye